Shemot, Exodus 24. And he said unto Moshe, Come up unto El Yahuwah, you and Aharon, Nadav and Avihu, and seventy of the elders of Yasharael, and worship ye afar off. And Moshe alone shall come near El Yahuwah, but they shall not come nigh. Neither shall the people go up with him. And Moshe came and told the people at all the words of Yahuwah, and at all the judgments. And all the people answered with one voice. And he said, All the words which Yahuwah has said will we do. And Moshe wrote at all the words of Yahuwah, and rose up early in the morning, and built an altar under the hill. And twelve pillars, according to the twelve tribes of Yasharael, and he set, sent at young men of the children of Yasharael, which offered burnt offerings and sacrificed peace offerings of oxen unto Yahuwah. And Moshe took half of the blood and put it in basins, and half of the blood he sprinkled on the altar. And he took the sefer of the covenant and read in the audience of the people. And they said, All that Yahuwah has said, we, rather, has said, will we do and be obedient. And Moshe took at the blood and sprinkled it on the people and said, Behold, the blood of the covenant which Yahuwah has cut with you concerning all these words. Then went up Moshe and Aharon, Nadav and Avihu, and seventy of the elders of Yasharael. And they saw at the Elohim of Yasharael. There was under his feet, as it were, a paved work of a sapphire stone. And as it were, the body of heaven in his clearness. And upon the nobles of the children of Yasharael, he laid not his hand. Also, they saw at Elohim and did eat and drink. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Come up to me into the mount and be there. And I will give you at sapphire stones and a Torah and commandments which I have written that you may teach them. And Moshe rose up and his minister Yahushua, rather Yahusha. And Moshe went up into the mount of Elohim. And he said unto the elders, Tarry ye here for us until we come again unto you. And behold, Ahran and Chori are with you. If any man have any matters to do, let him come unto them. And Moshe went up into the mount, and a cloud covered at the mount. And the glory of Yahuwah abode upon Mount Sinai. And the cloud covered it six days. And the seventh day he called unto Moshe out of the midst of the cloud. And the sight of the glory of Yahuwah was like devouring fire on the top of the mount 
in the eyes of the children of Yasharael. And Moshe went into the midst of the cloud and got him up into the mount. And Moshe was in the mount forty days and forty nights.